Welcome everybody, here's your strategy wolf and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, our Lords of Penfro or Diffid and welcome back in 940 and yeah, here in the British Isles a lot of stuff is going on. Uh, last episode we just, uh, yeah, the, we had a comeback of listing chieftain Bjartmal uh, that we actually, who plundered Pen for the first time uh, as a reaction we sacked or took Lanestar as a protection mechanism and now he tried to reconquer it and he was already here the Viking troops uh, were here in Penfro again trying to siege it Actually, we lost uh, uh, very brave. We moved towards the front, Lippard the second, and he fought a battle with the Vikings, but was outnumbered heavily, got caught, and actually in the battle lost his leg. So a lot of uh, things at uh, yeah, at yeah are on, on are being decided these days. So it's very tough stuff. It changed his life for a long time. Um, yeah, but our king and our allies, basically our king Rufon, um, defended. Uh, Penfro and also beat the um, Irish or North Vikings over here. So after Ormond's being taken, probably this war is going to end uh, to our benefit. So we're going to keep Leinster and our possessions. We just will have lost our leg. Um, at the same time, we've seen massive war, a civil war over here in um, in Alba. And we've seen King Einbelach, or the, the young younger cousin, him, his brother basically made him the new king uh, from the former Mormer, who's now still... Oh, <laughs> this is the Faroeas, right? Um, yeah, Faroea. Uh, okay, this is the Faroe Islands. <laughs> so he's been, okay, pretty much, let's say... You know, sent to some uh, <laughs> uh, being expelled from the country. However, he was just the Duke of Northumbria before uh, of the Scottish or Albion dominated uh, Northumbria, but doesn't have this much of a strong house power. Uh, a lot of claims, though. Uh, we shall see where this turns out. If he's being able to, he will be able to stabilize this and be a long lasting, he's quite young and powerful ruler, or will the other uh, Gallian, Gallic lords? Uh, rise up again and start new civil wars. It's going to be quite interesting to so observe. But yeah, so much for the foreplay. Um, let's just jump in and see how our war is going. Probably quite good at the moment, apart from Diffid being sieged again. Oh, come on. What is happening these days? Like, oh, it's also last, uh, the, the, the war for the Walesian crown was uh, white piece, and so does King Rufon over here. Um... Last time the attacker in a white piece got at least uh, the lanes that claim pressed. Maybe he didn't because it's already pressed. So why didn't you come on? You already sieged this halfway through. Well, you could have done it and then he would have lost the claim probably. But yeah, if necessary, we're going to defeat him another time also. So yeah, very interesting to see. Let's check over here, by the way, what's going on. Yeah. All right, uh, so back to peaceful times. Um, we can end the Regency, yeah, we will. Of course we will, and apart from this, yeah, these are some, this is something we will need to do next. Uh, Anti-tribal DC over here. We have a low, wolf thing has low durability, uh, quite expensive. Actually, it's not our thing hunting, so probably we're not gonna renew this uh, of our grandfather's wolf thing. Stinks already a little bit. This I explained to you before. We're asking only our head for, for faith for gold. Maybe later or only for massive religious projects. So this time, nah, I don't want to do this. We can station men in arms. Oh yeah, since we get a new territory, that's good to see. We can also send him over here to increase the control in lanes. Though we should do this. And oh, we need a new court position. No one is being su suited for that. So let's definitely search for one. We don't want to die young. We can also lot a lot of stuff to do. We can develop the capital. However, this will result in a new stress level. Um, after this war is something we want to do anyway. So we'll take the stress into account. Or we'll, we'll, we'll go through it. It's going to be okay. And apart from this, after losing the leg, um, let's do this first. Mental break, dark thoughts. Guilt and shame have been plaguing me as of late. All of my sins, my flaws, my failings. These dark thoughts distract me from my responsibilities and keep me awake at night. I feel like I must do something to put an end to this mental anguish, but what could I possibly be? Uh, what could possibly help? 
I could donate. Anything that we are diligent and callous content. Uh, we could donate to charity to make up for my sins. We would become improvident. A couple of drinks. Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> or we can just be strong and resist these impulses. And I think I don't see content. Yeah, drinking doesn't fit us really well. Also, like, being heartless doesn't really fit in Provident. At the same time, Diligent would, like, uh, or Content would fit in Provident. I feel like Drunkard feels the, uh, fits the least. However, we never s know how weak people are, especially in such... Uh, it's, a, it's a special moment, you know, like, you have uh, overwhelmed. So I'm going with, a, uh, once again, with a dice. And like even chances, so one, two, three, four, five, six, is easy to understand. And I'm rolling a six, okay. And he wants to be strong and resist these impulses. Leaving our uh, stress level at a high level, but let's see, maybe we can cope with that. Court physician, world is full of dangers even to a lord in this court. Okay, yeah, I don't have to read these texts that repeat always to you, I think. So let's see if we can take Luta, she is... Um, Average, okay. It doesn't look that pretty to me, but of course, taste is tastes well right. Oh, we've got a, a herbalist here, so yeah, more of a natural doctor. She's kind of bad. Yeah, we need a doctor. Let's get her. Not her, her, my new court physician. All right. Before this court physician happened, I was telling you, I definitely this time we're gonna look for knights actually, since um. Yeah, after losing our leg, before that, we can actually establish this um, our wonderful new acolyte here. Steward and knight, yeah. The mentor is really good. Number of knights increases this, yeah. And not for us right now, but let's check it out. Uh, we're not gonna seek for one right now for a successor. Let's just hope somebody will show up. Uh, we're definitely gonna get some look in white, some knights since um, when we've got the prestige. Since yeah, after losing this leg and our scars and so on, I won't be capable of really fighting. And he knows how cold-hearted and brutal this world is, so he definitely thinks he needs some uh, prominent or like illustrious fighters that protect him or the realm and so on. Um, yeah, that's what Lithfire is about right now. So we just gotta wait. <laughs> In the meantime here, our uh, small harbor has been finalized. Oh, for 200 we can make it to fishing net waver weavers. Maybe I should do this also, or shall we get something out here? No, not really. Yeah, we also still need prestige over here. The good thing is now our really our money situation, if you remember like a hundred years ago, like basically uh, when this game started, it was really a dire situation in this underdeveloped different. Now we've got the 10 development and some at least here like the, the hamlets and the small harbor out, bringing some good income here. And we've got a... Oh, yeah, this is uh, nice. Totally forgot about this. We have our wedding celebration. With my marriage to Lady Burngift, the realm expects us to throw a suitably extravagant wedding celebration. It is well within my right to collect a royal aid duty as part of this, but some may consider it tasteless to levy an extra tax during a time of jubilation. Um, we're cold-hearted. We're doing it just in a mere. In this case, we're doing it in a, and we're very diligent. So I think we're doing it in a very clear calculation. What is makes more sense for our realm and our dynasty. And since we have a good income and 75 isn't that much, which we could get in comparison to 300. Where wait, we oh, we got oh, from the marriage. We got a prestige boost also. Anyway, still I'm gonna go for the prestige since we don't have the strong this strong of a boost here. Yeah. I'll let my subjects enjoy the festivities without worry or care. All right, um, so we're married. Let's have a look, a quick look at our new wife. Wow, Ooh. Lady Burngith Elderwin, daughter of Differt. She is um, our father-in-law, our alliance partner here, the pretty king Elderwin of Cornwall of the House of Wessex. Um, 
Oh, let's pause. Don't uh, don't forget. Um, he's basically a descendant of Al Albert the Great. And also, this is the same Thursiding dynasty, right? Yeah. So basically, not the dynasty of Dal here. Wow, they started over here. They became pretty strong, I feel like. Uh, not the Mercians. Oh, the Dal dynasty is really establishing itself. It's pretty strong over here. But these guys are uh, the Surdicings here, like the southern Wessex and Essex ones. They were once all united and split up over time while Cornwall here expanded massively into Ireland. And that's our Farden Dal alliance, alliance partner, which is very much helpful. And we are married to his... Yeah, this was her first try. She died very young. So now we're married to her. We've got a brother-in-law who already has a grandson, so our line is the second one. Um, and we've talked about it when he was younger. Would he even consider as a callous person killing somebody, murdering? But I don't think so, since we are callous, but at the same time content. So we wouldn't, like, as, as, apart from this, he helped us to gain, yeah, like, to drive the Norsemen away. No, we will not do this at the moment. Uh, anyways, we wanted to have a closer look also at her story for getting distracted. She's vengeful, deceitful, gregarious. Okay, she's not the nicest of a person. And she's pregnant now, so very nice to see. Um, let's have a quick look how she's assisting us. Yeah, intrigue is obviously the, the strongest, but we don't need intrigue that much right now. Can she become our... Um, no, she cannot. She can't no, uh, And before this episode when we started recording, I totally forgot we also got a lover and two bastard children of mine over here. Totally forgotten that. And to be honest, we've had got this Danish lady over here uh, and we don't like her. We're trying to sway her. Why are we not putting our lover and friend here as our spy master? Of course. Makes so much more sense. But at the same time. Oh, yeah, she's not like the most nicest lady, but come on, let's learn some English, uh, because we're just speaking our Welsh. I think it should be uh, helpful to communicate a little better with our wife. Yeah. All right. Let's continue then. Ah, yeah, and with a swollen belly. Oh, <laughs> it's like we got her closer to us to work in the court and immediately she's pregnant again. Okay. Uh, yeah, and what we don't need to do is invite some knights. That's what I've been telling you. Since we need some strong fighters to protect us. Uh, let's have a next look on how we could do this. Ah, okay, I was always looking at the wrong place. Feudalized tribe is just pressing this button over here. Oh, it costs 500, okay. Are we willing to spend this or shall we rather... Ah, now for the moment I'd rather get here the fishing net weavers out. And then our next bigger investment will be over here in uh, in Lanester. Alright. Um, my daughter Nair. Praise Saint Brigitte. Burngith has given birth to a perfect little daughter. One day, child, you will carry on my legacy. What name befit such a mighty lady? Marshall. What name is this? What's the, my mother's name? Nest, of course, Nest. Um, where's she? Isle of Man? What is she doing over there? Can you come to our court? Yeah. I totally forgot about our mother. Um, no. There is Latvin, Kravi, Angarat, Mabin. Ah, oh, Mabin. May you grow to be strong and wise, my daughter, Mabin. At the same time, we finalized the Seward perk, and we're gonna go here for centralization, yeah. Extra development growth to make here our peninsula like the richest area of the British Isles. <laughs> Let's have a look, actually, how it looks like. Yeah, well, 10. London has. Third. It's in Brentford, not London. Oh, wait, it's London, yeah. Isn't Middle Middlesex? London, yeah. 13. Paris at the moment is... 17, yeah. So actually, well, it's getting prosperous and prosperous. Not that bad. And let's not forget what a talented uh, steward we are actually are. Give me a reputation, okay. Um, 
Looks like there has some peace has come, really, for real. No, here not. They're fighting Mercia and Alba fighting for East Riding. Okay. And Sindel, a knight, has arrived. Lowborn. Orchera. A pretty average man, I'd say. However, 42 and only costs only 60. I would consider it. We have to save up some money, though. Um... Uh, And we could declare war on them, of course, for holy wars. But once again, we we conquered this here, not for... I mean, taking out him again. It's it's more personal on, on, on Shiftem Yatmar. Is this part of Leinster? It's a second... I mean, border gore, whatever. Um... I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. We could go for this. Of course, we have to summon our allies then. We, just, we do have the prestige at the moment to still call him in. But for Ormond... To be honest, nah, it's not really, like, urgent right now. Where are they going? Are they in war again? Where are they? Where, where are they marching towards? Holy War for the Earldom of Ulster. Are they defending up here? That's interesting to see. Versus? Who's the attacker? Moray. Okay, also Alba's trying to get some better, even more hold up here. I feel like they're pretty occupied, so... Is it off, is it not roleplay? Is it off character? We, we're content, right? Dil but also diligent. We want to fulfill their colors and they have a weak situation. And this man has attacked us again on our... You know what? No, I still feel like we have a personal, some kind of T planet that's twice declared applies. This is man is dangerous for us. And having him around here so close to our home is not really bearable. I will go and go to war again. Uh, and try to, yeah, get Ormond also to finally get rid of the Norsemen down here. Not for the Norsemen being Norsemen, but for being this threat coming from Yatmar. And for this, I will also... What's a minor holy war? I haven't heard of this. Is this new? Okay, let's go for minor. Is there any difference for a holy war and a minor holy war? No. I really don't know, but it's going to be minor and because it looks pretty tough. But we've got our allies. We've got Morgenbech and yeah, especially Cornwall, which we're definitely going to call in. All right, let's go. Holy War for, for uh, also for Ormond down here. We are not joking, Mr. Biatmar. We're getting our revenge and to fight this we definitely need the Cornish um, we'll call them to war 150 and I think we'll also call, call, call our uncle to war in this case just to make sure for the 75 that's fair and there they come there they come let's escape let's escape I thought they just marched upward and he's our guest can we straight Sent him there? What? I don't know the mechanics to be honest. Now he travels there, but we haven't hired him. Is this the one that I considered not really spectacular? No, no, it's a different one. He's pretty good for uh, the commander. Geralt. Other oh, was it, right? 80. 75 on tier. We have Geralt. Oh, a poet. Also, not so bad, but we just need money first. To be honest, I'm just. In this case, let's mainly rely on. <laughs> Let's rely on our uh, our brother-in-law. Actually, is perfectly suited. Let's rely on the, the Cornish troops over here, and there they come. Maybe let's wait for real until they summed up. Not them running into something and getting annihilated before they arrive. No, let's act together, and here we go. 
monastery repairs. The abbot of nearby monastery has asked that you make a donation towards the repairs of the monastery church. Surely it wouldn't hurt to ensure that you are in the monk's prayers, right? And I think we're gonna do this we, since we are content and... The more I play um, Crusader Kings and I read the context and also the religious ones, I feel like content is also mainly referring to your role in life in um, yeah to in, in in comparison to the god to your god the gods or like, yeah how you see yourself and I think he definitely is he's not zealous but he definitely thinks that he's way smaller than God and he's happy to support the church yeah. Especially in times of war, where he's uh, in the name of God uh, trying to get rid of Yatmatra. Lovely. And. Yeah, let's stitch then, I guess, Ormond first. So we just have the war score. Should be pretty quick one, the siege. Yeah, I mean, this this is not since there's also here, yeah, the, 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 all the Gallics marching in. It's a hard time for the Norsemen, I must say. Um, we had some, there was some kind of a re, um, yeah, some, some re, I don't know, I should be just some lacking English word right now. People, they, they had a kind of a comeback, uh, like 20, 30 years ago, where I was thinking, oh, the Norsemen are doing quite well, but now it looks like that their Irish possessions are slowly, 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 um, well, not even slowly, but like actually really fast, they're gonna be smashed, and then we basically have only a Christian. Yeah, I mean, in the end, we have, we'll just have a Christian uh, Brit British Isles, and the Norse are kind of repelled. Uh, and I also just saw, looking on the map, that somebody might must have um, done the conversion here. So just talking about it, if we would do it, but it was maybe my my king or my duke, who knows. My court tutor Margaret has been aiding me day and night in my efforts to learn English. Her dedication to the art of teaching is inspirational. There's or English, by the way, would be probably the right word. There's not a day where I'm not brought an English letter to read a learned mercy and may not converse with or an extraordinary many crime. Truly, I would not be this far along without Margaret's help. Does she deserve a reward? Um, no, we are colors, okay, and not. Attended by court tutor, very nice. Yeah, what is trying to say? Yeah, the the Norse are definitely under pressure. They're, it's getting tougher and tougher for them. Let's quickly pin our brother-in-law. By the way, won't forget it. Maybe I can take him for our thumbnail about this siege. <laughs> All right, siege one. Okay, fifteen gold. Very nice to have. And yeah, bird. Let I guess go try take Ormond. Oh yeah, it looks like they the here the war for Alt that's over. So Oriel will actually we now we have to should be try to be quick at best case. Then um, you never know. Yeah. Where the enemy forces they they're the allies and so on they're not occupied anymore with the with the war versus the Gaelic so let's really try to finish ours very soon before they come back in numbers but we've got five thousand men I really doubt that they will be able to yeah that uh, shouldn't be the case but we can also siege Oriel and take some uh, yeah get our the, the plunder back that they took from Penfro exactly visions of the past. I was idly reading a book about, book about historical events in ancient times. Suddenly, when I came across a particular section, disjointed images and scenes flashed before my mind as I was really there. My servants found me on the ground moments later, having fainted. They were skeptical when I described what happened, but the feelings of sadness, joy, hatred, love. I felt all that. Mysterious visions of the past, okay. Yeah, I was still probably like, let's see, still haunted let's say by uh, the pictures that like the, his poor or his home when it was sacked by the Norsemen so yeah his reaction it, it's apparently really a big deal for him it's like bothering him so his reaction wiping out uh, Bjartmadra and heavy oh gosh no I want him can you do, do, do we have the mod with the prisoner transfer like normally I'm not sure uh god it doesn't No, I would love to torture him or this. <laughs> Things you normally don't want to say. 
No, it's... God damn it. Can we really not... Uh, isn't there like a prisoner transfer? Do I have it on or not? I have to check. There is a mod called prisoner transfer, remember? But it was maybe broken at some time, so it turned off where I could ask people then... To be honest, I don't remember that I ever really used it so much. Since, um, yeah, it's uh, just the idea to have it is amazing and I find it very useful, but in the end I never used it and I feel like I didn't activate it now, but now would be the moment. Um, let's give it a month maybe to see if something must update or so, but I doubt it. No. I guess it's just, we just have the possibility to make peace. Uh, what did I just do? All right, guys, here we go. Um, sorry, there was a crash to desktop when after some clicks and so on. So we are a little bit back in time, basically a year uh, or not. I don't know, one percent sure. So don't wonder I'm going to cut this and <laughs> get you back to the, the right point. Um, yeah, there might be some different events this time. So sorry, we have a slightly alternative timeline, but I think you understand. So uh, it won't be too much and try to act very similarly. All right, um, Libertine Late Literature. As I'm re reading loudly from the English book that Lady Burngift sent me a while back, I notice a whole host of servants snickering at me. Please don't stop reading the servants giggle. He was just about to show his copious cut piece. We need to know if the Lord and the Sorcerer end up together, or if that Zohar gets between them again. Am I reading something lewd? By God nails. Okay. Lord and Loud Reader. Gods rid me of this blast. You dare laugh at me, flock them all. We're kind of careless, right? It kind of fits us. Oh, well, I suppose it's education, educational in a sense. Um, at the same time, we are diligent and careless. Um, and content, which also, like in a god's will, would also refer to this. So actually, it's a. Yeah. I think for every, every choice has a certain chance. So, normal roll with a six-sided dice and we do roll once again a six and yeah it's educational in a sense why not you gotta see the full uh, dimension of a language or of the culture of course yeah let's see how this siege is gonna end for the second time yeah and if we maybe in our time we are lucky we're taking him hostage ourselves and not our uncle um, No, he's free. He's free. Uh, let's try to catch him. I doubt we will. Question is where they're going. Uh, probably back. And we shall go back as well. Uh, we're not taking the sea route. Very nice. Um, he's still free. Probably now we've got to wait until they make peace up here before, uh, like the last time, before we can peace out. Uh, well, well, I mean, if they don't siege, okay, apparently the AI acts act differently. Let's go and siege us ourselves. That will also will help us in terms of war score for sure. Oh, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I don't want to fight these guys, the Galax. Ooh. Oh, this was a tough one. Make your peace and we siege this. Then everything will be fine. In the meantime, we beat down these guys. Yeah, if, if you guys that don't know Crusader Kings that well, these orangish uh, troops are basically troops that fight with the same enemy. Although you are like in similar content, you can fight versus them, but it, we won't get any points from this. Nor, uh, yeah, it doesn't help you at all because we're fighting a basic same enemy at the moment. Learn language, lexical love. Oh, my dear Hiphite, you really are learning my beloved English. English. I feel so appreciated. You're making such an effort to understand me. Lady Borgif says, smirking. Can I help you in any way? Teach you some words, perhaps, she says. Um, all right. Callous, diligent, diligent. All of them are like, uh, yeah, once again, no clear uh, direction where we'd go. So we roll the dice and see what happens. How if I think, and um, today's the day of sixes, so uh, thank you, but I'm doing just fine. Ooh. 
can we we have to, basically nothing to get rid of our stress i feel like uh yeah we should do something about it and over here why is this not changing you get a piece out here well worst case we gotta siege them in the meantime Uh, lanes that get incompetent tax collection, okay, yeah. Uh, I guess that's what has to happen anyway. It reminds me we have to try to get the control up. Admiration. Burn gift, the one who I'm striving to emulate in my endeavor to learn English, has started sending correspondence to me as of late. I've gotten several letters where she louds my efforts to learn her language, calling them both respectable and admirable. I feel good to get recognition from my hard work. Um... Yeah, I think here this is the only one that doesn't give us stress and it fits because these are against our character. So this is, yeah, we're trying to learn something from her handwritings. Apart from this, we're also not the biggest fan of our wife yet. Um, since, you know, as you remember, she's like, yeah, way younger, we have a lover and children with, with my lover. So, yeah. Hmm. Okay. What are we about to do over here? Um... I think these def defensive measures and so on fit him because also he has a high interest in defending his uh, yeah, hometown basically or his home. Okay, I really wonder that the Gales are not really able to finalize their war this time. Uh oh, they're there, they're coming to. Oh god. But they got their. Oh my god. And we've got a new bishop. Uh, so it, it, it's not going to cost us any war score. And the bishop is really competent. Holy moly. We will uh, sway him after he's Breton. Okay. After we finalize learning our language. But guys, please, please, no, don't teach our, uh, our lands. Okay. The spy master of Shropshire over here in Screwsbury. He's Mercian. Okay. But living... Oh, in Mercy, okay. And also of our relationship with Aaron when, yeah, we'll be blackmailed in this case. Shouldn't be too public. And we got household savings, um, 50. All right. Um, I kind of thought we we're going to finish this war very quickly and be done with that, since this is this. <laughs> Not the case. What? Also, my king is blackmailing us. Oh god. Yeah, let's 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 get the blackmail done. Well, uh, since oh god, now they're taking Ormond. Why then can't they just? Nah, you know, it's always different. Uh, good to see. A little bit chaotic episode. I think I'm gonna finish the war in the next episode. So yeah, thank you very much for watching despite our little struggles. Um, see you next time. Um, if you liked it, please leave me a like and subscription. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps me a lot and motivates me. Thank you for that. And then just see you next time when we continue with our Valesian Lords of Penfro by your strategy wolf.